so what's up guys welcome to this new video so in today's episode i'm going to show you how to set up dark tunnel config file with a v2a tunneling protocol okay so if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet i'll provide i recommend you hit that subscribe button down below that the notification bell to not miss any content from us okay without any further ado let's get into it after the intro okay so if you've been through my channel you will notice that this is the very first video we are making on dark tunnel okay and for the first start we're going to be tackling the v2a setup okay so the first thing that you want to do when looking to create a v2a config file build with any vpn which in which case we are talking of dark tunnel is to first create a vpn server okay a v2a server pardon so the first thing that you want to do is to go to your web browser it can be anyone just type in fast ssh v2 way okay so i'm going to tell you why i prefer fast ssh for creating v2 way servers okay so let's first get started with creating the v2 way server okay as you can see i will select this one okay i'm going to choose this second one okay so the v2a server is located in america so let's scroll right onto the bottom of the page where we'll see username and back host okay so for the username you want to enter anything let's say something like that and for the back host if you don't have a back host you can leave it that way but i wouldn't always recommend you create a fastest edge a v2a config without a back host even though it's going to work in most cases okay so the place where i can recommend you to get a back host is of course from our back host directory okay so to access our back host directory just need to come to your web browser and search for mg2 sni host just like so and then from here you want to just click on the first result that appears on the screen and then you want to scroll down until you see the back host generator which is this one you select your country make sure you select your ideal country don't select any country that isn't yours okay there are countries there are configs available for all countries so i'm just going to select this country and then i generate the back host for this country okay so we are looking for the v2 ray host great we have one with Airtel, so I'm just going to copy this one right here. I'll copy just like so, and then we return back to the page where we are creating our config file, which is this one. And then I just paste this one just here. Okay, so paste it just like so. And then you might want to take this reverse sni or just leave it as it is okay this reverse sni is actually going to keep your connection alive in most cases especially where the sni can't know your connection this is where you can face bad connection stations so you probably want to leave this like this or you check it okay so maybe i'll just probably check this one because it doesn't hurt and then i click i'm not a robot to verify okay once you're done with everything you want to create on this create account button just here give it some time to create the account okay so we have created our v2a account which is of course valid for seven days okay just like it is mentioned up here account is valid for seven days okay so this is why i prefer fast ssh over other providers like ssh ocean as many will recommend okay so the reason why i will recommend fast ssh is because they will let you create a v2a config for both that will, that will both support port 443 or 
port 80 okay it is to keep in mind that these two ports do work though they work for the same though they serve the same purpose they don't work in all conditions okay four fold port 443 is known to be stable than port 80 and port 443 of course works best in conditions where the network isn't the best or where your isp is known to set some sort of firewall firewalls that are going to that are meant to stop such connections okay so this port 443 is actually the best port that you want to use and most other ssh account providers will probably let you create accounts with your accounts that are working with port 80 okay so i want to click you just want to click on this copy button right here i will provide a link to this page this direct page in the video description or the pin comment so you want to check that out so now that we've created our ssh account we are done for this section with the browser okay so we want to get back to home page and open our play store search for dark tunnel if you haven't installed the app yet in your mobile device okay so as you can see you have installed the app already so i'll just want to update it to make sure that i am running the latest and most stable the most stable version of course okay so just give some time to update okay so our app has been updated successfully so what i want to do here is just to click open and it's going to appear like this at the first glance okay so what you want to do you want to simply do here is to just to click on this config right here and then you click on import okay select from clipboard and then you click ok so the app is going to set up everything that you need okay forget about this server name identification that is empty everything just works well since our host has been inserted as the header host okay so as for the target server we have it right here with the port that we selected while creating the config file okay so now everything the only thing that you will have to do that you need to do is to click on this connect button okay so let me do that right now as you can see the connection is being established and we are connected successfully to the server okay so if everything works well you get connected right away okay so this video is strictly for educational purposes which is why i do this while being on the wi-fi connection okay so i'm just showing you how to get to set up fit ray with that tunnel okay so if you found this video actually helpful don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe to our channel and don't forget to check the video description or the pinned comment for the links to the sni host generator the ssh account the v2a account server and any other few config files that we are going to create for the purpose of this tutorial okay so i catch you in the next episode